What's going on you guys? It is your boy Carboholics and we're back with another YouTube video. Today we are at another new donut shop. Right behind me is the Rolling Pin Camarillo and you already know what I got guys. I got the goods. So we're going to start it off with the glazed yeasted donut. And I already like how the glaze is crinkling at the top. Now they're nice and hefty. So let's see how it goes. Wow. And guys, the donut is like, it's super doughy, but it's nice, airy, and soft. I'm really digging their glaze. Now we're gonna move on to their buttermilk bar. Glazed buttermilk bar. Let's see how this one is. And like always guys, most of these donut shops, they never fail with the glazed buttermilk bar. The glazed donut was super nice and airy, but it like, it's like doughy, but it dissolves to the bite. It's like really good, a really good doughy. The buttermilk was nice and buttery. It's really good, nice and crispy from the outside and the glaze is a nice sweetness. You guys are not, are not gonna wanna miss out on what we got back home for a full order. With more donuts. What is going on, you guys? We are finally back home. It is your boy Carbo Holly. And your girl Donuts and, and Pizza. Today we got another cheat day for y'all. It is 7 17 april 24th and as you guys saw we did stop in camarillo we went out of camarillo actually to taste out the rolling pin donuts and we got quite an assortment here um you know sorry for the intro in the beginning i was a little bit thrown off the service there wasn't all that great unfortunately but besides all that the donuts look great they look amazing as you guys notice the glazed donut was really good for me now the glazed cronut is not in their menu we actually requested for a couple of cronuts to be glazed it doesn't look like the glaze really stuck to the cronut at the top there if you could see but nevertheless they do feel like they're gonna be crispy and the layers look great from the outside so like hopefully it's, like it's good here let me get this one why because then you're gonna what excuse us all right cheers Oh, oh, you heard that? Wow. They should definitely get this on their menu. Yeah. Even though it's not fully glazed. Mm, it's really sweet, it. huh? It's pretty sweet. But it's really good. Wow. Yeah, guys. Like the glaze, like I showed you guys, didn't really stick to the glaze corona, but it's really sweet. It's it's near near perfect, actually. It's perfect. I love it. Mm. And the cronuts are pretty flaky. So just imagine a perfect glaze it. Now the only thing I would say is that it did stick to itself. It didn't hold the layers quite well, if you guys can see here. But I mean, most of the the Kronos that we've encountered do that. So. Mm -hmm. 
would definitely request for them to place another one next time I go. It's really good. Now, we're starting off on the right foot. Their glazed cronut was great to me. Their glazed buttermilk bar was also great. It actually tasted like Donut Hut's buttermilk bar, but less thick, so it was perfect. Now we're gonna move it on to their strawberry and sprinkles. Which this donut, guys, it is huge. These donuts are massive and it's actually really heavy. So it's um, yeah, really, cheap. really crazy. Oh yeah, and guys, it was only $43 for the whole order, which we got 20 donuts. I didn't quite get the receipt because like I said, we ran into a couple issues, but like 40, $43, $41 for a 20 donut so it's pretty cheap and the donuts are massive this one feels really heavy though so let's see how it goes cheers it's really doughy but extremely soft i like their glazes it's very sweet wow and i think this one's a cherry donut Mm. Yeah. It, it tastes like a. Uh, a guys, donut. look at how doughy this is. It's like super doughy, but it's so weird. Like you buy on it and it just turns into nothing. Mm -hmm. But not airy either. Like you could feel the dough turn into nothing. If I'm explaining that right. So pretty hey. good. <laughs> Wow, impressive. Look at how thick this is. Yeah. This could be a donut hole. Guys, I'm telling you, it's like super thick, but notice it's not removing dough because it's really thick, but it just turns into, I don't know. It's not like it just turns into nothing completely, like super airy, but it's like, dissolves so well so perfect huh but you can still feel the thickness in your mouth i don't know if i'm explaining that right but wow it's so crazy i've never had a donut quite like this one almost to say it's kind of like a little raw That's it. almost like if it was raw but it is not it's not it's weird but it's good i'm digging it Mm -hmm. So I'm going to warm up the next batch, guys, and I'll be right back with you. He'll be back, guys. And we're back, baby, with a tiger tail. <laughs> well, I guess she wants to get started with the tiger tail first, guys. And this is how it's looking. And this tiger tail, guys, is really massive and really heavy. Like, it's heavy, dude. So let me know what side you're going to want. Heavy duty? That side? Yeah. Okay, cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Ooh, I didn't hear this one. Wow. Guys, they really nailed it with this tiger tail. Super soft. It's fully glazed. You could taste their chocolate. Uh -huh. Yeah. The cinnamon. It's thick and doughy, but it's like super soft and spongy. The glaze is nice and sweet. You could taste that cinnamon and chocolate. Um, what would you Swirl. call that? Swirl that they add to it. And it's got a nice crisp outside mm. huh. oh and it's just like some walnuts wow oh uh, some walnuts i think this is like the second best tiger to our station mm. 
And that's saying something, guys, because the second one was, I think, Colorado's. Right? Yeah. And Colorado probably took third place now. Just because this one, you could actually it's taste the. It, it's crispy, and you could taste the chocolate and mm. cinnamon more than the Colorado one. The Colorado one was really great, but it, it, you could taste that a little bit less. All right, guys, now we're moving to the chocolate glazed donut. And we're gonna cut this one in half. Huh? Just cut it like this because it ruins the. Glass. Yeah? Well, sometimes you have a fit because I do that. Well, because the last time you took out the chocolate. Cheers. <laughs> Wow, and look at just how doughy this is, guys. I mean, this is crazy. <laughs> it looks like two donuts stuck in one, look. Mmm. That's good. You like it? It's all right. I mean... There's something that I don't like about it. Like I said, it's perfect, but we're not even, we're not really, we're not even, we're not really into traditional chocolate glazed donuts. And that's what this is. Yeah. It's the traditional chocolate glaze, which we like it. It's not bad, guys. But we prefer something that, you know, unique, like they mix with dark chocolate or they mix with like some type of ganache or they mix with Hershey's chocolate. I mean, you guys should get the point by now. Yeah, this is chocolate. So, really top quality chocolate glazed donut. And there was nothing bad about it, guys. We're just looking for something different. Now we're moving to the glazed red velvet cake, which it looks to be um cream cheese glazed. Hopefully, it's not that hearty cream cheese that we don't like on donuts it's cream cheese i think so cheers <laughs> oh no it's all right the topping the topping the glazing is actually like a sweet glazing like a sweet vanilla cake glazing on it but i think it takes over the donut i can't really taste like a red velvet kind of taste or anything like that true but i think i this one over the chocolate i guess it depends who you're asking i'll take the chocolate over this one but i'm gonna go warm up the next batch guys and we'll be right back with y'all so oh, but their cakes were nice, soft, and moist. Yeah. There was nothing dry about it. It didn't have that quite crisp layered outside, Mine but it, it dissolved quickly. Like it was nice and moisty. So that's the point. You heard them. They deserve a point. We'll be back, guys. Now we're back, baby. <laughs> we're back with a heavy ass donut. Which one you want to do first? Uh, let's do the corner. Okay. So we're going to do. You get the little one. That one's more crunchy. Sugar cronut. <laughs> so just sugar, guys, on a cronut. And it actually feels flaky. Here, I'll get this one. This one's more crunchy. And it actually feels flaky, guys. Oh, my God. Like, look, it opened up by itself. And it looks so, like, hollow in there. And the flakes are just, like, flaking off. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Cheers. Oh, you see it. It is. Cheers. Oh yeah. Mm. The sugar Krona guys has more layers. It didn't stick into a good blob. Mm. Mm. Let me tell you, I like their their Kronas. 
I like the cronuts. <laughs> <laughs> I like the chewy cronuts better than the regular donuts with sugar. Oh yeah. With sugar donuts. Me too. Why is that? I feel like it has more, a little bit more flavor. Well, I think that from this place, the sugar actually stuck really well to the cronut. Like, look, there's even on the bottom of the cronut, on the side of the cronut. Mm. And usually, like when I get a sugar yeast donut, I bite it and most of the sugar falls off from the rest of the donut. <laughs> and the cronuts, like crispy layered out layers, layers are just flaking off like so perfectly, and it tastes a little bit more eggy than a yeast donut. I think that's what it is. Mm -hmm. All in all, guys, a great Krona. Glazed or sugared, they were both amazing. Although I will want to see it glazed with this style of texture. Mm. That will be freaking a top Krona. That's how SK's is, basically, huh? Next, we're going to... Whoa, snaps. We're gonna do, guys, this giant chocolate chip puff. I mean, look at this. Chocolate chips, chocolate glazed on a yeasted donut that is filled with the cinnamon from the cinnamon rolls and chocolate chips. So let's see how this is. Ah. Oh. Guys, and I've had these from a couple donut shops and they've been so excellent. And I think I've had these only off camera. <laughs> like I always bring them and you guys have seen them and then I say we're gonna come back to them. I end up getting drunk or something and I end up just, oh my God. Warming it up <sighs> and just do it for Instagram. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, that, that, that bite right there is gonna be money. See, if I bite this, I'm hoping to see a hundred dollar bill. Mm. Wow. <laughs> the chocolate chips and the cinnamon glazing from the cinnamon rolls, guys, is the perfect combination. You you get like a tarty chocolatey flavor, huh? Mm. Like a dark chocolate kind of when the dark chocolate wants to be tart but there's milk chocolates involved it's just so great mm. i don't think this one's the same chocolate from the from the regular donut huh? no this is milk chocolate chips that they stuff it with It's the same chocolate glazing, but since they put milk chocolate chips over it, it kind of changed the flavor of the whole chocolate itself. Plus, it's stuffed with more milk chocolate chips. It's just damn near delicious, guys. I got an idea. <laughs> <laughs> the light bulb on the top. But anyways, here's the idea, guys. Imagine melting the chocolate chips, the chocolate glaze, and the cinnamon, the cinnamon that they put from the cinnamon rolls, all in a large pot, and just glazing the chocolate glazed donuts like that. <laughs> it will be good, huh? I think it will be good. That would be good. But let's try making the, the regular a glazed donut, donut like with that. yeah. That's why the regular green yeasted glazed donut, guys, the chocolate one that we had. Huh? Ring. Oh, it's so green. <laughs> the chocolate one that we have, guys? I mean, I don't know. Maybe I've just had too many donuts right now. Mmm. <laughs> too much, though. 
and this donut and I was gonna just talk about that guys that's why I was like wow this donut only works when you guys have like soft dough this place is doughy but it helps them out that their dough is really soft because when it's like thick and dry dough guys if only they it's use just a little bit doughy. less dough yeah, but I think it's the way their 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 dough expands. It probably expands like that. So do it smaller. No, no. That way it could expand. I thought it was perfect though, guys. I mean, it kind of just dissolves into nothing. So I'm gonna go warm up the next batch, and I'll be right back with you guys. Pull that, guys, with some more delicious donuts. And we're back, TV with apple fritter. <laughs> We're back guys and we're gonna move it on to their apple fritter and this apple fritter guys is massive look at this so we only got one to share half and half and I mean it's really crispy on the outer parts so let's see how this does Cheaters! Cheers! Damn! <laughs> you got all the crispy like part, the, yeah. It's like the mini apple fritter like that. Uh -huh. Look at how huge that is. Mm. It's kind of crunchy. Crispy. On the side. This <laughs> 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 is a top apple fritter, guys. I just saw what you did to that donut, and I don't think you're sick. <laughs> Look at what she did, guys. She took out the whole bottom part. So she could have less donut. This dog. <laughs> wow. I'm not cheating. <laughs> I'm freezing. <laughs> My back in my hair is fine. I'm trying to slouch. Mm. Really great apple fritter. fritter. You want more um, no? No. I'm gonna give you a I prefer that should have been your piece. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> and I still couldn't finish it. Mm -hmm. She got like a fourth guy said the apple fritter. <laughs> this was how big her whole piece was. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, guys. That's huge. These donuts are massive. I mean, our mugs are pretty big mugs. Regular Look at the donut. Size. Regular size. And they're nice and thick, like. We've talked about how thick these donuts are. I mean, look at compared to a cronut, the yeasted donut is the same size as a cronut. It's crazy. But we're gonna move it on to the last donut from this spot, guys. All in all, we left four donuts. So we ate eight each. Mm. So cute. If we finish this one. So stuff. This huh? reminds me of the one star Dragon Ball from Dragon Ball Z. Uh -huh. They should have made that a star instead of just a little thing because they coat their um oh, yeah. their filled donuts. And I guess because the 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 there's the hole. I guess if they can't find the hole just so they know they put all of them like that. But that there is a donut on top of this <laughs> on so, <laughs> so that they don't, I don't know, maybe they have other filled donuts. Cheers. Mm. Super filled, guys. Mm. But it's really good, huh? Mm -hmm. They're feeling it's good. Look how much freaking filling they put. 
Yeah, they don't skimp you out with the filling right here, guys. I mean, look at this. And I've already eaten a good amount of the filling. So that is it, guys. We're done with this video. We won't be back till tomorrow. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, that is it for me. These donuts are pretty freaking huge. Uh, they're hefty. I actually got. <laughs> I actually got. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> I'm waiting for your napkin. I actually got pretty full, guys. They were big donuts. I mean, huge. They're half the size. Every yeast donut is half the size of that gallon of that <laughs> milk carton. But, anyways, guys. We are gonna be out. Thank you so much if you guys have made it this far to the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that like button for us. Hit that subscribe button for us. And we'll Make be sure right you back with you Instagram. guys. <laughs> Make sure you visit. <laughs> we'll be right back. All in all, guys, it was a top donut shop, and we will be back for those in the night. Most likely the bear claw and the there's an apple filled corona, guys, with powdered sugar. I mean, this is a cronut, powdered sugar, and apple filling inside. So we will be back for it. at least the bear claw and the, the, the cronut. I, I don't know about these blue ones. I don't think we're going to be back. We'll see, guys. But because we'll let you guys know after the second meal. We have a little surprise for you guys. <laughs> we'll let you guys know after the second meal, guys. See you for the second meal. Peace. Oh, wait. I almost forgot the time. Nah, we have to do it all over. Time is 7.51. Still April 24th and we will see y'all for the second meal. Peace. 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 How do you do the peace? Like kangaroo. Peace. 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 What is going on you guys? So it is 1051 and we are currently in Springfield guys. We came out out of bring donuts and pizza out to Universal Studios. She really loves it out here and they just reopened the park about a week or two ago. So we are here okay. drinking some Dove beers. Cheers. That rhymes. Oh, nice and fresh. Eating some protein chips, making sure we get our protein in. We just hit about two rides so far. We're about to hit the rest of them right after this beer. We'll be right back with you to show you what we guys, what we guys, what we get to eat in here, guys. See you later. Peace. See you later. We got ourselves another drink, a couple of tiki drinks by the Jurassic World ride right in front of it. And now we're in line for some. Actually, you guys got to stay tuned to see what we're going to get to eat. Alright guys, so as y'all can see, we're in here in Moe's Bar and we're actually enjoying a crusty burger you guys just saw from the B-roll which is really delicious guys and some fries these got her on too i don't really want to vlog in here just because it's a close you know it's a small bar it's like as you can see it's a really small bar and it's actually closed they only got a couple tables open because of you know cold so yeah 
we'll see you guys for our next meal. Finally back home, it is 6.33, still April 24th. We just got back from Universal Studios as you guys have seen in the past clip. I mean, I don't even know if I'm gonna upload it just cause we didn't catch too many things from inside the park, but we did try the Krusty Burger there and it is still as delicious as always, oh, yeah. huh? Yeah, the Krusty Ooh. Burger is always really good to us. Uh, what else did we get in there? We got a couple Bunch of other of treats, but mostly we went out there to drink and for the rides, guys, and just, you know, to have a good time. I mean, they do close a bit early now, like way earlier than before. But anyways, we said we we're going to come back to these donuts, so this is where we're at now. We're going to start it up with the bear claw. What are you doing? And V's never had a bear claw before. They are apple cinnamon filled or apple pie. They have apple pie filling inside. I think we've tried so, one, but it was Let me show you guys. Cinnamon and apple inside. And this donut, guys, is like really soft. So cheers. I'm cheers. excited for this. It's good. Really soft. And that's weird that you say that it's good because it has a lot of cinnamon. But it's really good. It doesn't I don't feel the cinnamon mm -hmm. on this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe because it's a little bunch of dough. I don't know, but the good thing is that the but dough is the dough is pretty thick. But it's not like super soft huh? Yeah. Yeah, guys, I mean, we gotta give it give it up for Camarillo. The dough is really thick, so for you, those of you guys who like thick dough donuts, this will be your spot because it's thick, but it dissolves to the bite. The rolling pin in Camarillo. Mm. Look at how much in it. Show them how much in it. That's so crazy. Yeah. I think it was towards the end. It was towards the end, baby. Nah, it wasn't like even this. in the middle for me. For me, no. Yeah, but it's just the cinnamon mixes real well, I think, with their glaze or something. That you don't taste it. Their glaze is like nice and sweet. It, power, it probably overpowers the cinnamon. It's good, though. Great bear, bear claw overall. We're going to move on to their powdered sugar cronut which has apple filling in the middle as well guys now let's see how good this cronut held up you know we got it in the morning and i did warm it up should i just bite it take half and then mm -hmm. now, yeah. wow <laughs> this is nice and flaky <laughs> cheers <laughs> Mmm. This one tastes like a damn apple pie. This one doesn't have cinnamon. It's good with that with the um powdered sugar. Oh yeah. The croissant donuts guys, I will say. Nice, flaky, and crispy. Oh yeah. I mean, and their sugar, their sugar. Is if like they could do that with a glazed croissant donut, man, that would be a great shop. It, overall, it is a great shop because I mean their tiger tail was good. I had to rewarm up their apple fritter, guys, because it was just so damn delicious. I wasn't gonna throw this little piece away. Just ate the crunchy part. No, the the whole thing was the middle. Do you want to try eating the donut cold like that to see how it is? I really ate the... the <laughs> <laughs> oh. Alright guys, so I'm going to go warm up this last blue glazed donut and I'll be right back with you guys. We're back guys. I need my donuts warmed up. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> and we're back. And we're back guys with their blue... With their blue... <laughs> <laughs> with the blue blue. <laughs> With their blue glazed donut, guys. 
with sprinkles. Now we're only gonna do one of these because we're just curious about oh, about how the icing is gonna taste. And damn V, man, this is the one that V actually like slipped the top off of it. <laughs> and she did this barehanded, guys. I mean, that's a perfect slice through the damn donut. I don't know how she managed that, but it's no, nice and it, it, ooh, the, ooh. What's that nice? Cut it with the knife. <laughs> Maybe I cut it with the knife. Yeah? Oh, no wonder. <laughs> it's a perfect slice. It's freaking hot. Cheers. Why did you warm it up this much? I'm putting my, my finger in. Wow. Wow. <laughs> You're gonna warm up the nook the next donut? Is that good? It's blueberry glaze. Shut up. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. I can't eat it because it's so hot. Wow. So I have great glazed donut. It's blueberry glaze. <laughs> huh. That's why they sold out on their blueberry. Yeah, their blueberry cake, cake donuts, guys, were completely gone. And I, I was bad, guys, because we placed an order. I placed an order like a day before, paid a whole paid. like 28 hours before, paid and everything. And I get there and they don't have the blueberry cake donuts that I ordered. But it's all right. I mean, Just what did we get? It. What did we get instead of it? Oh, the red velvet was was not all that great. It was like good, it. but it wasn't like an outstanding red velvet. The no, chocolate one was in there. Watch out. The chocolate one was like a decent chocolate one, guys. Mm -hmm. I mean, she just doesn't like traditional it's chocolate. It's chocolate <laughs> glazed donuts. All right. So that's it for the donuts. I'm going to leave this one unless you want to you wanna do it. No. I'm going to leave that one, guys. I mean, it was really delicious. But we do have some treats that we need to get to. So let me show you guys the time just in case. 6.43 and... I'll be right back with those treats. All right, guys. So I'm right back with those treats. What do you want to get started with? Ooh, um, let's try these. Okay. So let me. Or should we try that one? That one. Let's try that one. All right. So this is a Fresh. Honey Dukes chocolate peanut butter fudge, guys, and it's one slice. We're about to try this. This is how it's looking. And we got that from Universal Real magnificent. Studios. Yeah, we got this in Universal Studios. Harry Potter, baby. Hogwarts. Right Hogwarts? So, Hogwarts. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's try this out. Let's see what this is about. Here you go. Thank you, my good man. You got there. Oh, what is this? Is this a pie? This is how it's looking, guys. And it's good, but it does taste like cream cheese towards the end. But I don't like it. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that aftertaste. Yeah, right? It has a like a cream cheese aftertaste. It's uh, like a... Yeah, I don't want to put it back in there. Like a pie, no? Oh, is you going to eat it? You're going to eat it? Uh-uh. Put it back in there. Oh, my God. I'm mixing my spoon. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, guys, it's like a knockoff Reese's cup. Which it would have been really good because it has the same consistency as these Reese's eggs that I have here. But I mean, if let's move on to this. That will be calorie free. Now these, these are I'll pretty eat. great guys. Now these bad boys. These are Reese's Cups ice creams from Cold Stone. Mm. And it has like the chocolate ice cream with peanut butter with a chocolate drizzle with a piece of a real peanut butter. And they're in these like chocolate edible cups. Mm. I mean, it's delicious, and this is this is the box that it comes in. 
Cold Stone. I don't know if you guys have a Cold Stone creamery, creamy, creamy, <laughs> creamery, anybody where y'all live, but we do, and they have great ice cream treats there. They always make different ones. Although I would add a couple things to this. Well, what? Like. Mm. Like this is great, guys, but. That's good, baby. <laughs> I think that they should have made it with their peanut butter ice cream instead of their chocolate ice cream. Mm. I think it's good. Like this, because. Because. If it was that one, they're adding peanut butter cups on it. Yeah, but. So it has peanut butter, guys? Chocolate Underneath, ice cream, peanut butter know. on top, a chocolate drizzle, a Reese's peanut butter cup, all inside a chocolate cup. What else do you need? Or maybe half and half. Because to me, it tastes more like a chocolate lover's Reese's cup. But, still really good. And, uh, Hater, but chocolate cup is all the way to the bottom, guys. I mean, that is good. Mm. You want to finish? You want one? Mm. Never say no to chocolate. There you go. Second one, guys. I mean, we might as well finish these, guys. Otherwise, it's just stay in our freezer for a while because we don't eat this stuff during the week. Nor Sundays, most of the time. We don't really, um, we can't eat a lot, <laughs> a lot of donuts if we're going to, you know? Yeah. Add these too. And yeah, we uh, yeah. usually stuff ourselves with way more donuts on a cheat day and we don't even end up having room for these anymore. Or go out for some drinks, which we did today, but we usually stay out for the drinks, huh? So like 10 p.m. or 11 p.m. But today we decided to come home and finish up some of these snacks that we had laying around. <laughs> and we have a lot. Oh, I have chocolate. Yeah. Oh yeah. Let's move on to the next thing, guys. Which is a um, party haze. A cake. <laughs> <laughs> Cauldron cakes from. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's how you say it, guys, from um, <laughs> Harry Potter. Once again, got it at Hogwarts. And it's a really interesting looking piece here. Oh. Now you can reuse this to bake from what they said and the instructions are on the bottom of this but look at how this looks guys. How cool is that? And then this is buttercream and inside is like a chocolate type of cake <laughs> and you could, like I said you could reuse this and there's some instructions on how to make this exact cake so let's see what the fuss is about. Let's try it out. Uh, so I was looking. Let's see. No, hey, hey. <laughs> nah. It's good. This is what really does it taste good. Like? Just sweet. Just sweet. No. Then it's not good. It's good. And is this edible? No, this thing? Black thing? No. No, the black thing's not edible. Okay. I think that you could re... I can't really taste the chocolate as much because of the mm. Reese's. But it's really moist and stuff. Oh, look, taste it with the buttercream. I am. 
<laughs> Dumb I am, you're fucking at the bread only. <laughs> Get it like this, look. From the mm. top to bottom. The pick is I good. mean, look how moist this looks, guys. Oh, you can't really see anymore because the lighting is going down. <laughs> wow, that would be so good. Warmed up. Warmed up. Yeah, guys. It tastes like a chocolate lava cake. Yeah. Oh. Look. Yeah. And that's it, guys. I'm actually full now. I'm pretty satisfied, and I still have to get my um protein in for the day. So we still have some chips, but I need to watch tea. And then I did bring these out. I was gonna eat them, but like I said, I'm kind of full. I might eat them later. But. I want to show you guys these Reese's eggs <laughs> that were out for Easter, guys. If you guys haven't tasted these, man, this is peanut butter cream in these eggs. And the eggs, it's a full chocolate egg, guys. It's not like a damn, like, half skimped out egg like usual chocolates. This is an actual full-size chocolate egg. And the chocolate in it is nice and thick. And the, the peanut butter cream in there is nice and good. Mom, but anyways. You need it? No, I'm pretty full. You want one? No. Not so really. that is it for today guys. It is 6.54. And we're out. Still April 24th. If for some reason we end up ordering some pizza later on tonight, we'll come it's back out. Not. We'll turn on the light. <laughs> and we'll vlog it for you guys, but most likely we're pretty much done. We are Lights beat out. walking out, walking all day, all dang day in Universal Studios. I'm beat, guys. <laughs> but anyways, especially, thank you so much. Especially because we we woke up early. Like oh yeah, we're awake like at 3:30 a.m. Yeah, 3:30 a.m. to go get those donuts, drive out to Camarillo, and then make it to Universal Studios like 30 minutes before they open. So we're tired. Yeah, so pretty poofed. But um, thank you guys so much for you guys that kept kept on this far uh, to our vlog. You guys that keep hitting that like button. We truly appreciate every single one of you. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll look back at your boy you, girl. for the next video. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you follow Donuts and Pizza. <laughs>